NBC 15 News starts now. Hello and thank you for joining NBC 15 News on the web. Here's a look at the stories we're following for you today. A Madison man accused of killing a 24-year-old woman will be in court today. 26-year-old Christopher O'Crowley is scheduled for a preliminary hearing. He allegedly shot and killed Caroline Nozel last week in the Metro Market parking lot on the east side of Madison. O'Crowley was arrested last Wednesday following a shootout with a police officer near the East Town Mall. A judge has set O'Crowley's bond at $1 million. No one was sighted after 15 vehicles broke through the ice in Lake Geneva. The vehicles were parked on the ice during the city's winter fest and began breaking through on Saturday. The warmer temperatures and weight of the vehicles caused the ice to give way. Luckily, no one was hurt. Five of the vehicles were able to drive away, while the others are severely damaged. The Madison Metropolitan School District is starting to discuss budget cuts. Superintendent Jennifer Cheatham says cuts are necessary because of the lack of revenue coming into the district. She hopes it won't come to layoffs with many teachers retiring. Although this didn't come as a surprise, officials say it's still very challenging for them to find other places to cut. We may have people needing to move around into new positions within the district, but hopefully no one will lose their position entirely. The bad news is we'll be doing um, the same amount of work, if not more work, with less yet again, um, which is a real challenge. Cheatham adds they have to figure out where to cut back without making a direct impact on the students in the classrooms. That's a look at the stories we're following for you today. Join us again on the web for Midday Headlines. Have a wonderful Tuesday.